Well, Yaya Touré was pretty events against Manchester United, and he was pretty anonymous against Bayern Munich. How, how do you explain that? There are human people. But seriously, is that a concern? You need your big players for these big teams, surely? Yes, of course, but uh, I don't know, sometimes it happens that uh, good players and top players is, wasn't in, he was not in his day, maybe. But uh, I, I think that Yaya Touré has been a very important player for us during the whole season, so he will continue in his same role. And he can play as any other player a bad game. Manuel, when you have a player who's been criticised and whose form has disappeared or has lost his form, how do you build that confidence that you speak to them privately or do you just let them, let them get it back to <coughs> Exactly the way I spoke with them after the, the game against Manchester United, Manchester United. I think the football is present and that is past. It's very important to, to analyse what, what we do every match, but after the match is finished, for the good things or for the bad things, you must think in the next game. And I think that they are... They, they are very... They are trusting that tomorrow we will we will be the same team that we played the whole season. Manuel, you have said earlier this season you always pick on the form, not the names. So with regard to Joe Hart, there is a little bit of a pattern here already this season with Cardiff, you know, now this game. Will you, will you pick him again on form or on name tomorrow? Well, I, I repeat, it's a very difficult decision. So we'll see tomorrow which is my final decision, but uh, really, it's, uh, the moment is very difficult also, but uh, we'll see tomorrow what is the best, the best uh, decision. In terms of the, uh, the gulf between you and Bayern, do you think it's really, it will be, say, two years before you can realistically expect to challenge to win the Champions League? No, but it's not a conclusion, but after the game uh, against Bayern Mini, I think... Uh, we just played again Bayern in Audi Cup in Munich and we did it really well. It was a very equalised uh, match. It was a bad night only, but uh, that doesn't mean that we need to. Maybe we need it, but, uh, but not the conclusion of the match. But uh, of course, to win a Champions League is not an easy, an easy task. And is it, is it too much to expect to win it this season, realistically? We will try to do it. We will try to do it. Nothing happened uh, because we lose... Uh, we not hap nothing happened because we we lost three three points against Bayern. We we will try to qualify in the group. If we qualify to the round of the last sixteen uh, in, in February, all all things can be changed. Always will be always a very difficult thing to do it, but we will try in this season also. Well, what did you make of um, Everton's performance on Monday night against Newcastle? Well, I think they, they played very well the first half. Maybe when they were winning 3-0, they, they, they leave or they consider a Newcastle two goals. But uh, I think uh, I, I repeat the same thing I, I said with other things. Tomorrow will be a different game. But I know that we are going to play tomorrow with a very difficult team. Sense of forward looks very dangerous. Yes, very, very dangerous. Very good player. But not only the, the sense forward. He has a lot of good players. You know Roberto Martinez. Pardon? You know Roberto Martinez probably helps with things like. Yes, yes, I know. Yeah, I know what he he did here in in uh, England with the other two teams. He he managed and he's doing he's doing very well now with Everton. I know um, Gareth Barry can't play against you, but what was the thinking behind letting him go uh, on loan this season? Because he he does offer you a sort of a a cover in the field, which you seem to have been lacking a bit this season. No, no, no. I think that uh, Barry has a lot of experience. A lot of experience. He uh, is. I talked with him before the season. I had four players in in the same position: Fernandinho, Yature, Rodwell, and Javi Garcia. I I think this was not good for him to stay here. I think he he understands perfectly, and and he went to Everton without uh, any problem with me and or with the club. How impressed are you with the grade out? Because every time he either starts or comes on, he scores or makes an impact. I think we have two very good strikers, Negredo and Seco. We are using both of them. The last game was always Seco scoring, and Negredo was playing very well, but he was not scoring. I think it's very good for him to the 20-25 minutes he played against Bayern to score a goal. So 
So I, I am very glad with with both of them with the second grader. May I ask why you picked him from the start from Derby in the grader, but you're on the bench for five minutes, sort of equally, not bigger again? Well, there's a, a lot of reasons that it's very difficult to explain here in a press conference, but uh, I always try to to think that the 11 starting is the best for, for each game. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.